I was I was watching I was watching YouTube and I saw several men of God on there and it was Apostle Pengani's time to speak there, there were a group I think this was uh, demon slayers I, I can't really recall properly but they were all having discussions and they were talking about the prophetic ministry and things like that and then Apostle Pengani came on and he spoke some really, really profound things. And I was so touched by the words that the man spoke about the prophetic ministry. Because me being a prophet, I am very, I am very connected when somebody speaks about especially what I'm called to do in such a profound way. It moves me. It touches me. You know what I did? I gave. I immediately gave to uh to the youtube link i believe uh I, I did i think i did super chat or something like that i don't remember how much it was it doesn't matter but i gave because i believed the word of the man of god i believed what he was teaching it was profound it was good and it was touching and it made me even refocus more because i'm a person that is very focused on my assignment it made me focus the more then once in a while i would see him pop up on my instagram then one day, I believe it was either through Vlad or somebody. I can't remember which one of them. And I don't want to mention other people that I don't need to. Because these are all people that I respect. I respect. I'm sorry, Pastor Vlad. I don't like mentioning people what God didn't call them. I believe it is him or Apostle Daniel or one of them that said, Oh, you know, this man of God wanted to connect this and this and that. But me, I remember having a conversation with Apostle Pengani on Instagram. And Apostle Pengani said, Prophet... I didn't even know that you know about me. I didn't even know that you know about me. A lot of my people in the church uh, uh, speak about you or things, something to that effect. And I said, man of God, as I always, I look at him, he's, a, he's an elder. I said, man of God, it is because of fathers like you that we have shoulders to stand. I'm grateful for the teaching. It was something like that. And that was the end of it. The next time... I spoke to Apostle Pengani. We have had three conversations on Instagram. I have never been with him on the phone. Hello, on the phone. That has never happened. Never happened. Why? And I said it on my post earlier. I said, any man of God that will come out and say, me and Prophet Love used to talk all the time. That's just not true. I don't roll like that. There are three people that I speak to. Three people that I speak to. And even this man, it's very difficult to get me on the phone. One of them is my little brother, Prophet EJ. Another one is Apostle Daniel Adams. Another one is Apostle Omar. These are the only men that actually get in touch with me and we speak rarely. That's, it's, it's not all the time, but these are men that they have a way to call me and will answer and will speak on the phone. I have never been on the phone with Apostle Pengani, hello, hey, Apostle, how are you doing? It's never been like that. So, and the man of God is saying, and I'm not calling the man of God a liar, but what I'm saying here is he never said the truth. Me and Lovi were cool. We used to talk all the time. That is not true. The first time I honored the man of God, and that was the end of it. The second time I was preaching at Pastor Jamal Bryant's church. I was preaching at Pastor Jamal Bryant's church. And I had finished my service. The next day, it was a prophet called Prophet Prempe was, was ministering. And I remember uh, um, um, uh, Apostle Pengani messaging me and saying, Man, these guys are playing the wrong song. That is not the prophetic song that this man is having a hard time to prophesy and this and this. And I listened to him and what he said. I responded respectfully like I always do because he didn't say anything wrong. Ah, they're playing the wrong song. That is, not the, that is not the prophetic song and this and this. I heard him and I listened and that was the end of it. The next day, Apostle, Apostle Pengani sent me a video of him teaching people in his church how to prophesy. And he said, look at this person is prophesying for the first time. Look at this person that is prophesying for the first time. And I was really touched. That was, it was an IG. It wasn't like, oh, pick up the phone. We discuss doctrine. That never happened. Guys, let, I like the truth. It is okay to not like me. You don't have to like me. I don't like everyone also. There are people I like, there are people I dislike, there are people I have relationships with, and there are people I don't. It is okay, but let's be truthful. There's nothing wrong with being truthful. There's nothing wrong with being truthful. 
But if you mention my name, I stay quiet. But if you mention my name, I will address the thing. Not because I'm trying to make anybody look bad, but because the truth has to be said. The man of God sent me a video of his people prophesying in church. And I told him, oh, Apostle, he, 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 we spoke about angels a little bit. He said, yeah, I know about your story when you said that you, you met an angel when you were six years old. He said, me, I walk with three angels. They come to me and they go. And this and this and this. That was the end of the discussion. It was over. But now they want to call me that I have a familiar spirit. But that's a whole different story. That doesn't matter. The last conversation I ever had with Apostle Kopenga, and remember, all these conversations are happening on Instagram. Not on the cell phone, it is, oh, message once in a while and that's it. Not hanging out, not sitting, not having, because the man of God said this. He said that we would have uh, apostolic doctrinal discussions and he noticed that I believe in strange things. And when he noticed that I continue to believe in those strange things, the Lord told him to disconnect. I have no problem with people disconnecting with me. I have no problem with that. I'm not married to anyone. I'm married to my wife. I'm married to Jesus. And that's it. I'm not married to anybody. So anyone can come into in and out of my life. That's fine. But if anything, I am somebody that guards my environment. I guard my environment. I'm not somebody that it's easy to access, easy to see. I don't roll like that. The last message that I had with a man of God, and I'm calling him a man of God because he is a man of God. The last message I had with him was this. There was a video of mine of a foolish young boy that I won't mention his name because I won't give him a platform. They cut a small clip of me speaking about Jesus. I said, people think that Jesus is, is just the word. They don't know that Jesus is the light. And what I'm saying is biblical. It's in John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word of God cannot be in past tense. You see the word evolving. It was the word. It became flesh. The flesh is the light of all men. You see the evolution of showing you that it is simply a conduit of how God expressed himself. That was the full scope of the video. All right. But six seconds was cut out of that video. And Apostle Pengani attacked me immediately. He sent me an inbox. It was very aggressive. Thank God I was raised well. I'm a very humble person, I'm a very calm person, and I took it calmly. He sent me voice messages. He said, you need to retract this video right now. You're making your friends look bad. You're making Vlad look bad. You're making this person look bad and this and this. I asked, Apostle, did you watch this video? Did you watch the video? What I saw is enough. This, this, you need to correct this and this. I said, Apostle, I cannot correct what I know I did not do wrong. You, you need, you are making your friends look back, bad. We are out here defending you. The, the people are going to start looking at you like a heretic. Because of my humble heart, and God is my witness who I stand before, I said this, I said, Apostle, I know I said anything wrong, but for your sake, because I respect you as an elder and as a father, I am actually going to address it. Not because I believe what I said was wrong. After that, the man of God responded with voice messages he said listen um you don't need to do that i just need you to be careful because people word is going around that you're heretic i remember understand me i don't want you to go through the same thing it is not necessary for you and he gave me counsel i take advice from any, anybody that was the last time i ever spoke to this man of god towards the end of the year i believe this is 2021 in 2021 going into 2022 i believe he was at an event with apostle daniel adams and he took a picture with daniel adams and he sent me the picture on ig and said prophet happy new year look who i am with and i said oh man of god god bless you and that was the end of it by no means am i making this video to insult apostle pengani i have nothing bad to say about the man i don't know him and even if there was something bad to say it is not my business that's between him and god it has nothing to do with me but one thing that i will never allow is for me to be mischaracterized that is not gonna happen i will never allow that i don't have best friends i have family my own family has a hard time getting on the phone with me 
I don't just sit down and see, oh, who am I going to discuss with? Who am I going to talk with? I, that never happened. My interactions with this man of God on IG, maybe four, at the most, maybe five. That's about it. And I do have, and I do have the messages. Will I post them? I don't need to, but I do have them. But this is unnecessary. Let us be people of truth. If you don't like somebody, it is fine. If you don't like somebody, it is fine. It is okay to say, I don't like you. Or I don't believe in what they are doing. That is okay. But let's not mischaracterize, yeah, you know, we used to talk and I saw that you are goofy in what you believe and this and this. And then I, guys, that never happened. That never happened. I respect this man as a father. I respect this man as an elder. He leads a great church. By no means am I diminishing his church. But let's not lie. Let us speak the truth. Let us be people that speak the truth. If I am wrong, the Lord is my witness. I will repent before God. Tell me my wrong. I will say, Lord, I'm sorry. And it will be the end of it. But let's not create stories that never existed. Let's not create stories that never existed. There are other people that have mentioned me, but I've looked at it and I'm like, okay, you know what? This, this is not anything important. I let it go. It doesn't matter to me. But because I respect this man, this is why I'm saying it. I am not difficult to reach. If somebody wants to reach me, you can reach me. They made a lot of videos about me. Witchcraft in church. Uh, devil worship in church. Sorcery in church. And these videos were about me. I know that. I never responded to them because I didn't care. But when you mention my name and say, oh yeah, me and him used to be cool, we used to talk. Nah, let's speak the truth. That is not how I move. I don't move like that. I'm sure there's a few people that know me from here. They know that I'm the most. My own church has a difficult time getting me. Eva, Eva's my assistant. This is my little sister, Eva. She's my sister. Eva, do you get me on the phone? How many times do you have to try to get me on the phone? I'm not somebody that you just pick up the phone and get. I don't, I, I am somebody that keeps my, I literally have problems with my wife because I'm a loner. I am somebody, if I am not focused on something that God has given me, if I am not somewhere praying, if I am not somewhere taking care of our family businesses and things that are supposed to be done, I am somebody that doesn't talk. It is okay if you believe I'm a wizard. It's okay if you believe I'm a sorcerer. But if I had an open conversation with you, and my church was even mentioned, ah, that's a no-no. I, I can't allow that. My name is Lovi Longomba Elias. I don't fear anybody. And if I have to die for the truth, I will die for the truth. I have no issue of that. I am not afraid of anybody. Nobody built me. And you know what was funny in the videos that like me and love used to speak before things happened to him. No, when I spoke to you, man of God, the first time you said, man of God, I didn't even know that you know me. I am not saying I'm the most famous person, but I never wanted to be on a demon slayer kind of thing or associate with this man of God or with that man of God for me to be famous. That's never been that. Even the messages the man of God sent me when I was at Pastor Jamal Brandt's church talking to me about something that I should try and do for him with the man of God. I'm not mentioning it because it's unnecessary. But let us be truthful. It is okay to have opinions about people. It is okay to have opinions about people. That's fine. But let us be truthful. Let us be truthful. They call me, he called me, uh, you know, Lovi. It's fine. But I will still call you an apostle because I believe in your calling. I believe you're anointed by God and I believe you're called by God. I am not calling you a liar, but what you said is not true. Let us speak the truth. And let the truth lead us into the love of the living God because that is what it is about. It is about the love of the living God. That is what it's about. If you can't fix somebody, if you can't approach somebody, if you can't mend something with somebody, let them be. If you make, I don't care if you make exposed videos or whatever, but let's not lie. Why are we lying? The only reason why I'm saying this is because my name was mentioned. 
I don't always address anyone who mentions my name because there are many videos about me. 98% positive, 2% negative, which is fine. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Maybe they have, there's some truth to what they're saying. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But I am not a cloud chaser. I am not that person. I didn't preach because I need money. I'll say that again. I never preached because I need money. I preach because the Lord Jesus called me to minister. I never preached because I need money. That's not the truth. I'm a very intelligent young man with very intelligent investment, with very intelligent things that I've done. I've been very wealthy since I was 26 and I'm 37 years old. I don't preach for money. I give a lot of money away, which is every believer's duty. That's how we are supposed to live. But if you mischaracterize me with all due respect, that is wrong. I will address it. I am not saying I am perfect. I will never be perfect. But I strive to be like Jesus Christ, my Lord, every single day. But let not false stories be created. Me and you never used to talk every day. Me and you never used to talk all the time. Me and you were not discussing doctrinal things. We never did that. I am a listener. If somebody is older than me, I sit down and I listen. I won't be talking. It won't be a chat. You say this, I say this. You say this, I say this. And we, we, we discussed one time, oh, about the angelic realm. Oh, yeah, I know you discuss about this. These are not things I tell my church. In passing, that's how I move. I am a guy that sticks to myself. That is how I am. I am saying this in love and I'm saying it up again, Apostle. Apostle Pengani, I love you. I respect you. You may not respect me. You may not like me. It doesn't change anything for me. But because of Christ, I love you. Because of Christ, I know you're called by God. Because of Christ, I know your, your ministry and everything you're doing is truly covered by God and it has the hand of God on it. I will never say anything negative about you because there's nothing negative to say. But... Don't mischaracterize me. Don't create a story about me and you that never was. That is the reason why I'm making this video. And I'm actually embarrassed doing this, but when you mention me, I have a big old flock of people that follow me. God has given me a lot of people that follow me. I will not allow anyone to say something about me that is untruth. People can create video, people can splice videos, people can go and watch them for themselves and they will find that what was made was not true. For people who claim that they love the truth, when they cut the video and made the video that I said it's okay to have sex before marriage, did they come out and address it and fix it when they realized that it was false? None of them did, but they come out and say, you know, we are truth sayers, we want it to be truthful. This click gang thing, you guys need to stop it. It's an embarrassment to God. It's an embarrassment to God. The man of God didn't attack me in the video. He did talk me down. They did talk me down, which is fine. It's okay. That means nothing. But if I had a relationship with you where we spoke and it's mischaracterized, I will address it. Just like I did about the man of God, um, the man of God, I forgot his name, when he went on his pulpit and he spoke about something. I came out and I laid out everything that was there. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide about anything. My life is my life. It is what it is. You like me, you like me, you don't like me, you don't like me. It's fine. I didn't come to be liked. I came to preach Jesus and that's what matters. So I'm saying this out of love. Let us be truthful. Let us not bear false witness because we want clicks and because we want likes. Let's not do that. There are so many souls to be saved. There are so many souls to be preached about. When people are cutting videos of uh, Apostle, they cut videos about him on TikTok and people are blasting it. Some of my own spiritual sons try to blast that and I rebuke them. I told them, hey, don't you know this is a man of God? Even if he did wrong, you don't do that. You never saw in any time or any moment did we celebrate, oh, they are being attacked or this and this and this. Never happened. Not a single time. 
And I will never do that. Even if they were wrong, I will never do that. If I have no relationship to talk about them, I will pray about it. There was a video that went viral, and I think the man of God addressed it. Maybe he didn't address it. I don't know. But I never went out and, and now also blasted. Look at what they do to us. Look at what we are doing to the people are doing it to them. I never did that. I stayed quiet. I actually prayed for him. I actually prayed for his church that this storm will not shake his church, but will make his church grow even more. That is the kind of person that I am. So I am saying this out of love because I respect this man and my respect hasn't changed, but the truth has to always be the truth. Yeah, so that's what's up. I'd like to know what you think about this on the comment section. Was this helpful? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Write on the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. If you have not yet subscribed to the platform, please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. See you in the next video. Stay blessed.